Pat with Pat's Two Cents. This is my magic wand, thinning shears. Thinning shears work wonders on wigs, and I am about to show you my customization right now. As you can see, I plucked some more to widen the part to make it look more natural, thinned it out a little behind the hair. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut and thin this section. If you look at most people with thick curly hair, the hair on the edge is never as thick as the hair behind it. And a lot of times that's one of the mistakes wig companies make. They put way too much hair and pack it right on the hairline. It's not necessary because that's not natural. This right here, yes, it's pretty, but it's not believable. When I get through using these thinning shears right here, you're going to see a difference. It's going to look like this hair is growing from my head. So far, five stars. Rat tail combs come in real handy because baby hair does not have to be that thick. All right. Now, as you can see, I just go up and down until almost all of the hair is gone. All right, you see this here? This is very, very, very thick. And it's lumpy here because of the way they sewed it. They took that little piece of lace, they folded it, and then created a, a weft on top of it, which makes it lump up. So that means I have to have enough hair to cover it. And you want the edge of the wig to look as natural as possible. First thing we're doing is creating baby hair in a more believable way. Now watch this. See how I pinch it right there? Because you don't need a lot. As much as we think we do, it's actually better for the top portions to be shorter. See my thinning shears? Watch this. Now, that's fine for now. I'm not, now I'm going to come down and I'm going to cut it at an angle. This just gives you a, a starting point. Now that goes in. This right here has a nice little curve. So I'm going to cut it right where the curve begins. And that's where I'm going to do most of the thinning. When you push that up, Look at how much easier that is. We're going to use thinning shears right here on the edge. And I just want you to see, I always go in about a little less than an inch. So you don't go all the way down to the root. You come out right around, I would say right about an inch away from the edge of the wig. And you just start closing and closing and thinning all the way down and then you pull it through. Now what that will do what that will do is make for a way more believable look and then I go in and make it choppy around the edges because when it's wet what you'll end up with is a natural looking cascade. All right. There's a natural looking cascade of little curls in here. This has oil on it, by the way. I put oil on it, AD&E oil from Dudley, because it makes the hair not fluff up and bush up so much. And gel can dry the hair and this has already been processed. We know that, even though they say virgin. <laughs> so the bottom line is you want to make sure that it looks like it grew from your own head. Now, you see how that looks? That looks more natural. You want thickness? That can be here. But right around the face, that needs to be able to lay a lot flatter 
because it makes the whole image way more believable. I'm just giving you an idea of what it'll look like because I like the little wave on the side and that makes it way easier to do when the sides are thin. Then I don't have to worry about blending it with my edges. It automatically blends. This will lay down while this does its thing. And it's just so much more believable that way. Now, I'm gonna go in here, not as much, because one thing we all know, hair right around the ears, that also is not as thick as we would like to believe it. So you see I went in two inches away from the root, three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches from the top, maybe two squirts, and then watch. I use the comb. There we go. And what we're doing is we're getting rid of unnecessary bulk. See, it's still coming out. Come from the root, comb out. Look at all that. There have been times when I have thinned a wig and half of the hair was on the floor. And guess what? The wig was still too thick. And it's not that I want thin hair. I want believable. I want when people see me in the street, at the restaurant. See, the wig is for me. I'm not trying to look cute for anybody. I like a certain look. But when I go out in public, I want people to think that every strand belongs to me. Let's go to the top section. Mm -hmm. You come through it first to make sure your these can make it through. All right. Now. Now, see how that hangs right there? When you look at more people with curly hair, that's how their hair looks. It's flatter on the sides because the sides are nowhere near as thick as the top and the back. That's where your thickest hair is, not on the sides and the front. That looks better considering it's not wet. It looks way more believable. You hold it at an angle like this. Remember, double check, make sure that's the thinning shears. You hold it at an angle so that the layering, little weird strands will cascade down, which adds to that natural curly look. And you see I'm doing it right at the very edge there. Then I go through and I whack, 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 whack. Whack, 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 whack. All right. Now, we comb from the bottom because if you comb from the top with all that whacking, you're going to get locked down behind a big old bulk of hair that doesn't want to come through with the comb. And here's another thing. Never wear wigs so far in front of your hairline. That makes me look like a, a mongoloid man or a uh, what do you call those men from the Stone Ages? That looks horrible. And a lot of you women do that. Look at how bad that looks. You need to bring it back to where your natural hairline is. <clears throat> All right, let's do this again. Combing through. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Much more believable. Mm -hmm. Now, still got all the hair in the back, all the fullness, all the thickness, but the hair in the front is way more believable, y'all. Way more believable. Later on, if I decide I want more cascading curls, I'll take a very thin area right here. And I will cut, 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 graduate it down. You know, I'm going to do it now, just a little bit. What that does, you can see what I'm doing. What that does 
is when it's wet and I cascade, there'll be little juicy little curls. Just a little hint of it, not a lot. I'm gonna do the same on this side because I always do it, so I might as well do it for you guys. See what I'm doing? Ever so lightly. got plenty of hair down here. Trust me, we're not going to lose. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to wet it and I will be back. Now, just to show you what I got. This is 10 level hold. And this is a little cheap thing called LA Looks Extreme Sport. Mm-hmm. This right here is called Dudley Hair and Scalp Conditioner, A, D, and E oil. I used this for years in the hair salon. You put a little bit of this in your hair while it's wet right after conditioning, and you want to keep your hair in good shape, braid it up, and put it under a wig, this will keep your hair soft after a good deep conditioning. So, this is the way it looks on the inside. It's a yellow oil. And what I do is I take a little bit, rub it on my hands while the hair is wet. It goes further that way. And I rub it through to make sure that the hair and the ends maintain not only a shine, it stops it from matting up and it stops the hair from getting dry and brittle. So, as you can see, it's already looking more natural. It's wet, so it looks flatter. But watch what I do when I scrunch it. When I scrunch the hair while it's wet, what happens is the curls that show now would not have shown before. It would look like this bunched up because all those strands are long but when you thin and you put little short strands all in between it makes it look like you are a naturally curly girly hello all right now you can see the close-up how much more realistic it looks i will do a 360 so you can see what it looks like in the back let me whip it to the back, as you young girls do. <laughs> anyway, you can see the length. It looks like it could be my hair, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. That's the difference between wearing a wig and customizing that baby to look realistic on you. At 68 years of age, I am not going to look realistic with two pounds of hair on my head. You are not there to compliment the hair. You are to be complimented by the hair, which means this is a frame, not the central event. How many times do I have to tell you do I have to go upside your heads to drive the point home? All right. There we are. That looks like it could be my hair to me. And if I can fool me, guess what? I know I can fool everybody else too. So there you are. Voila. Stick with me, kid. I'll show you the ropes. Uh -huh.